Well, I could. That won't work. Why should I do? Hello, can I? Uh, he obviously has more in. That could be fun. Well, I could. Well, I could. Should I drink? It would probably like that, but it's too far away. What should I? Don't think. That's a good plan. What should I drip it on?
Hello, we turned off the electric shocks. Dr. Reminepo, you can move freely now. Dad, can you hear me? We're supposed to get a diamond. Oh no! Where are we gonna find a diamond? That won't work. Hey doctor, I have a diamond. Wow, flute nose! Thank you. Laura, it's not for you. But if you want, I can get one for you, too. Maybe attached to a ring? Flute nose, what the hell are you talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Tumble Mouse. Tumble Mouse? I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm so glad that you're alive, Daddy. My little Tumble Mouse. I knew you could do it. When did you grow up so fast? Don't matter. You'll always be my sweet little girl. <laughs> uh, who's that young man over there? Dad, this is Robert. He helped me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> What are your intentions with my daughter? What? Uh, none. We just met. Dad, leave Flute Nose alone. He's really nice. They're always nice in the beginning. I've always dreaded the day when my little girl would meet and... Wait. Flute Nose? You survived. I, um, don't know what you mean. You must listen to me carefully. Ever since the beginning of time, a secret dynasty reigned over Asposia. All dynasty members had instruments as noses. They brought the wind to Asposia. They could control the wind by playing music with their noses? Not control it. They created it. But the wind monks... They were initiated by the head of the flute noses. They were supposed to execute the dynasty's will, one monk for every fountain. The last three before the attack were Malleus, Pandur, and Conroy. Conroy had his own ideas concerning reigning. Oh man, I can imagine what happened. Please tell me, why not? Because I won't allow you to implement the death penalty again. But... End of discussion. We can't let him go on like this. He's dangerous. I know. Soon he will be able to play with us. Oh, darling. He still tries to eat his own hand. Give him a little more time. At that moment, Conroy came into my workshop. I refused to help him, but he threatened to harm you, Laura. I was supposed to build something for him and... Abbot Conroy, what brings you here? I won't change my mind. I have decided to give you another chance. You now have the chance to acknowledge my free reign. And why should I do that? I have the Wind Gods on my side. There are no Wind Gods. There's only us. Really? Here. Oh, I tried to do something. She didn't make it. Then Conroy took you. 
Why didn't he just turn me into stone as well? Without you, there would be no wind at all. Whenever I had to play for him... His wind fountain provided wind. Not much. It needs a whole orchestra to operate properly. But thanks to you, we haven't suffocated yet. Flute nose? I'm sorry, boy, but you carry the responsibility now. Conroy has been forcing me to build an army of bazillions for 13 years now. If we don't stop him, then I don't know what's going to happen. What's his plan? The wind is becoming more scarce. He wants to turn all Asposians into stone who could steal his air. Sounds like him. Did you find the marbles that I hid? Yeah, sure. It was easy. But what are we supposed to do with marbles? We don't have time to play. We need to save the world. No, these are depetrifying marbles. We have to install them in a bazillion. Only if we can revive the orchestra do we have a hope of stopping Conroy. And then for my fifth birthday, he allowed me to bake my own cake. I thought it was the most generous thing a father could do for his child. And then his stupid hedgehog ate it. Yes, listen, I completely understand that you're upset. Upset? I'm not just upset. How would you feel if you'd been lied to and betrayed your whole life? He took my family from me. He treated me like dirt. I am... Angry? Oh, am I angry? So, I installed the marbles. You should unpetrify everything now. Ocarino, are you ready? Who's Ocarino? Flute nose? Sweet Pea, show a little more respect. He's the legitimate leader of Asposia. Ocarino Augustus III. Flute nose? Ocarino Augustus III? That sounds way better than Robert. I still think Robert is a nicer name. <laughs> Oh, my boy, hmm. why did you have to go snooping around? Now I have to kill you all. Oh, uh, 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 Dora, please! Uh, oh. Pluto's run! Oh. 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 Not again. Enough. Free the Basilians. I've been nice for much too long. Interesting. I survived without a scratch. Oh no. Finally, I have a depetrifying bazillion, but it's broken. I probably shouldn't have crash-landed it.